Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain the unit impulse response of first order system. So you can observe here we have standard first order system with unity negative feedback. So here we have unity negative feedback and this is standard first order system. See in first order system, we have one pole. So you can observe in denominator we have S term means with given system we have one pole. So this is standard first order system. Here we are dealing with to identify unit impulse response. Unit impulse response means here at input side we have unit impulse signal and we need to identify output signal. Right. So here at input side we have unit impulse signal means R of S that is 1 for unit impulse signal and we need to identify output right to get output let us identify transfer function transfer function is a ratio of output C of S divided by input R of S for unity negative feedback that transfer function that will be G S divided by 1 plus GSHS. Here GS is 1 divided by ST and here HS is 1. So transfer function that is 1 by ST divided by 1 plus 1 by ST for unity negative feedback with system gain is 1 by ST. Now let us simplify this. So here See this ST that is getting cancelled from numerator and denominator. So CS by RS that will be 1 divided by 1 plus ST. Right. This ST that is getting cancelled from numerator and denominator. Now we need to have output. Here we have R of S that is input and that is 1 for unit impulse signal. So here output C of S that will be 1 by 1 plus ST and we need output in time domain. To get output in time domain, we need to apply inverse Laplace, right? And to apply inverse Laplace, let us rearrange this term first. See here, from denominator, we will be taking T common. So we will be having S plus 1 by T over here. Now to this term, we can apply inverse Laplace. So after applying inverse Laplace, now we will be having output in terms of time domain. And here 1 by t, that is constant. And 1 divided by s plus 1 by t inverse Laplace, that will be e to the power minus t by capital T into u of t. See here, inverse Laplace for this, that is applicable for time t greater than or equal to 0. So here we are multiplying u of t, right? So this is our response, means this is our output, right? Now let me explain this output graphically. So here, if you observe, see we have amplitude on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis. At time t is equals to 0, our impulse signal that is input, right? Our impulse signal that is input. So, graphically one should know impulse signal that is unity at time t is equals to 0. Impulse signal is delta t that is 1 for t is equals to 0 and that is 0 for t not equals to 0, right? So this is impulse signal. Now if you observe output, so here we have output for t greater than or equal to 0, where at time t is equals to 0, e to the power 0 that is 1, so output is 1 by t. So let us say that point that is somewhere over here, that is 1 by t, right. And as time t increases, e to the power something will increase means this result and output that will decrease exponentially. 
So it will decrease exponentially somewhat like this. So this is my output that is 1 by t into e to the power minus t by capital T. And this is what output that is therefore t greater than 0 means inherently we are multiplying u of t over here. Right. So that is how response is there with unit impulse signal for standard first order system. Right. So this is the standard process that you need to follow every time to have time response. In future coming videos, I will explain few more time responses by which you will get to know how exactly we can derive response of any system. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.